My rural home of Snow Hill in Greene County, North Carolina is a small community with high poverty rates and is not well known. But just as this room is full of opportunity, intelligence, and determination to succeed with change, so is Greene County. The county's population is about 20,000 with approximately 3,200 students in our school system. 73% of these students receive free or reduced lunches. Thankfully, Greene County has changed their schools through a one-to-one -one laptop program and is now home to what in my case was a portal to a new life. Unfortunately, narcotics began to tear my family apart when I was nine years old. By the time I was 10 years old, my father had been in prison at least three times, fled from the law, and I've yet to hear from him. My mother was left with four young kids to look after and with no education, she was forced to work in the fields from sunrise to sunset. Her farm labor and job did not adequately provide for us and unfortunately, she eventually turned to drug trafficking as well. By the time I was 11 years old, my two older brothers dropped out of high school and at least they began to help support the family and my mom could finally make the commitment to stop dealing drugs. A month after my 13th birthday, I received a blow that would change my life forever. My mother was incarcerated for drug trafficking more than a year after the last time she ever had anything to do with them. Her past had finally caught up with her and my perfect life crumpled beneath my eyes from one day to the next. The events to follow were as expected of a 13-year-old who had no adult supervision to stray him from wrongdoing. By sophomore year in high school, I had 46 absences, rapidly dropping grades, no parents, a torn family, and plans to soon drop out of school. By the age of 16 years, I was bailing my brother out of a det detention center for traffic violations. During my junior year, I met my healthcare instructor and mentor that helped me change my ways. Ms. Lisa Wilson inspired me and shared with me how the use of technology tools could open doors. Technology helped to spark an interest in school and provided many of the resources that I liked at home. At the time, I didn't really understand the school's new educational model or the hundreds of hours of training that my teachers had attended. I only knew that I had a laptop and that I used technology in every classroom, which also provided access to my teachers and classmates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Soon, it didn't matter that my home life was a mess or that Greene County was so isolated. The integration of technology opened the world to me. By my senior year, I placed first in, a health, in regional healthcare club speech competitions and top 10 in the state. I was also varsity soccer team captain, homecoming king, president of various clubs in campus, and had perfect attendance. Plus, I worked two to three jobs. At home, there was no inspiration, and I truly dreaded the bell at the end of the school day. At least I knew that when I left campus, I would be able to instant message and email my teachers and classmates with questions. Since Greene County Schools provided change with a one-to-one -one program, school life is very different than the traditional high school that my brothers dropped out of. Students work in groups, they are challenged by projects, and the best part is everyone participates. In addition to the laptop, students use digital cameras, video cameras, and interactive whiteboards to prepare for college and 21st century careers. For example, in my physical science class, I demonstrated elevated distance by providing visual image slides for my classmates. In chemistry, I was able to manipulate elements from the periodic table in the, on our interactive whiteboard. Other examples of technology used in Green Central High School include designing web pages, filming and editing movies, and creating thinking maps. Our teachers work with facilitators to help make all this happen. You see, technology is not a luxury in today's society. It's a necessity. Most importantly, the student body is now at optimal performance. Today, we aim beyond a high school diploma and at very minimum to a bachelor's degree. Through the use of technology, our teachers are preparing us with skills for our journeys to successful careers. Before our laptop program seven years ago, the average college going rate in Greene County was 26%. By the time I graduated in 2008, our college going rate increased to 94%, our school record. In the past, our rural county was far below the national average. Now we are above average by 34%. In addition to increased college going rates, we have increased access to honors and AP classes, and our teen pregnancy rate has dropped from number 18 to, from, to number 18 from number two. Our advancement is all thanks to the technology and great teachers who integrate tools into their lessons. Thankfully, we are not alone, and there are other students in North Carolina and across the county that are also benefiting from similar programs. I've just finished my freshman year at East Carolina University with a major in pediatric nursing. I also received a National Nurse Scholar Scholarship. I'm currently employed as a certified nursing assistant. I actually received my nurse's assistant credentials as part of my high school curriculum. Although this may seem like a most ordinary story, something not so ordinary happened along the way. Technology. Technology help, tools help me to create, learn, explain, document, and analyze the different aspects of my life. My grades could not have been successful without the constant emails. I could not have shone through without the use of PowerPoints and movie presentations. <coughs> my application at East Carolina University, my SAT registration, and most recently, my nurse college program application were all completed online. Without technology, there is no way I would be here testifying today. Honestly, I would probably be another dropout. 
There are many students across the country, just like me, that only need a chance or an opportunity to change their future. Even diamonds have to be uncovered and discovered to show their brilliance and beauty. Young people across America are these diamonds. Technology is the perfect tool for these young diamonds to shine across our beautiful home we call America.